everyone my name silver welcome back to my channel and guys today I'm gonna review and give my honest thoughts on Xeroth Dragon of Destroyer Star I think is its name Xeroth Dragon of Destroyer Star Stark so I'm gonna quickly go over this card skill and then I'm gonna give you my honest thoughts Black Moon did something similar on his channel. I've yet to watch it, but I bet it's awesome. So go check it out. Link to his video down in the description below. And um, let's get into this. So what this card skill is that we know of is Counter Blast 2. When it's placed on Vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, this unit can attack three times. So after it attacks, it stands. Um, And it gets minus two drive. And to be fair, guys, I am really underwhelmed by this card. Like, in all reality, it's not that good in my opinion. And I'm going to say, I'm going to tell you why. So, as we know, Xerath Dragons have been more or less pretty good with the Dragon Empire retiring everything, including the Vanguard, binding it, and then forcing your opponent to discard two and ride one from hand. It makes it a very powerful card. With the, uh, with the um, Megalonica... It is when it's placed counter blast two. Choose five cards from hand or drop. <coughs> Call them to rear guards and they get the ability they get five K and the ability to exchange positions. Or maybe they don't get five K, they get the ability to exchange positions. I mean, but besides the point is is it gets over six attacks off. Um Zoo Nation gives ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine power. And if it hits, you win the game. And Dust does a damage and reduces your opponent's grade and power to 1. Or increases, whatever you want to call it. But, so, why am I underwhelmed by this card? It's not very good. There's just more cheap, consistent cards to run that do basically the same thing. You can run Favorite Champ Victor and get more attacks off. You can run, um, what's his name from way back in the day, um, Meteor Kaiser Buster, I think it was. It's the one that restands if you stand X amount of regards. Sure, that only gets two attacks off, but you still have the drives. Like, you're getting more triggers out of him. This card isn't just, it doesn't increase power. And the only clan and the only deck I see this being really valuable in is the new Grand Gallop deck. And the new Grand Gallop gives 13 plus K on stride, or no, sorry, gives a plus 12 K to on stride. Whereas it's already a 13, 13 base, so it brings it up to a 50 K base. So that is the only deck I see this working in. Chaos doesn't need it because Chaos has better utility and is getting a yet another new grade three and another grade four. So, in all reality, Chaos doesn't need this. Victor doesn't need this. I mean, I guess you could use this in a Razor deck, but I'm not going to. My I like my restanding Vanguard. So, in my Razor deck, I run Legion. And I use the ability to stand my Vanguard over four times, getting five attacks off ten drives. Um, What else? Um, Blows aren't going to use it. Blows have their own uniqueness. Um, Dimensional Robos aren't going to. And the other group in Dimension Police isn't going to use this. Um, I'm just like trying to think of any deck that could utilize this. And I'm n none come to mind. Like if I, if I open up my phone and I just go to the Vanguard app, which I conveniently have not open because I wasn't thinking I was going to go this far. But I guess I am. So if we look up, if we re remove all filters, and then we just look up clans, we'll do Dimension Police, and Nova Grapplers, and what's the other clan in there? Link Joker. So those are, those are the three main Stargate clans. And I'm just going to look up Grade Threes and in total, yeah, um, Messiahs don't need it. Um, Kaiser doesn't need it. Uh, one second. Like, none of the main builds, again, the, the, there's only one Gallop that can use it. 
and honestly, I, I don't think nothing needs it. Deleters don't need it. Reverse Cradle, none of none of the cards need it. Beastie's don't need it. It it just for what it does, it doesn't do the card justice. And I'm really hoping it has a secondary skill that we didn't get to see in the show because it hasn't fully been awoken. But I highly doubt that. And again, I just I don't see this card being very much use outside of a small meta. And it, it's just a handful of decks might be able to use it, but there's just better cards to run. Um, and for what it's going to be priced out at, guys, if you don't know, Xeroth Dragons go for a, an insane amount of money. They are like stupid levels of money. And the, just this, what this card is going to be valued at, sorry, that's my OBS. <coughs> what this card is going to be valued at isn't worth it. I mean, look at it like this. So we come back here. This is all we know. It's an ultimate stride. It's Nation of Stargate. It's a zero off dragon. But in this set, I mean, again, winning champ Victor does more. It's just winning champ is better. None of these cards are going to be able to use this rarity. And it's honestly just sad that this card is such a high value for what it does. I don't know, maybe I'm underselling this card, but I feel like a counter blast of two, lose two drive and attack three times, that's only, I might as well just, I guess you have to guard it multiple times in order to survive if I get a critical, but reality being, um, it, it's a no benefit. I mean, I don't lose cards, I guess. I'm really not getting anything. And Mega Colony shuts this down. There's a grade one that literally prevents the Vanguard from standing. So, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm underselling this, guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And like I said, go check out Black Moon. Because I'm just not as pumped for this card as I thought it was. I love the art. I love the overall design. The name. But the skill is a letdown. I feel really bad for saying that because I bet you this artist put a lot of time and hard work into it. And I'm just... Maybe the lore? I'm going to take a quick look at the lore. Uh, the formidable destruction weapon that incinerated in, incarnate from one of the dragon's bones of destruction. These wedges were infused with power from Giza and they absorbed the spirits surrounding manifesting their flesh forms... Giza identifies this bolt being as Stark, while Messiah forces refine, referred to as Star D Destroyer Star, the latter being more used in documents. The wedge was driven into the land which would become Stargate in modern days, but this land with spirits, it could not accumulate the necessary amount of mana to incarnate. For this, Giza performed space-time interfere, aka stride, a moment, a mirror of, of modern times, and summoned spirits from the future to complete the incarnate of Stark. Stark possessed overwhelming firepower, but its construction made it impossible to collect mana from spirits of each poach, and thus it was finally defeated as the inner spirits were depleted. It was real. It was recorded that when Stark unleashed its f firepower last time at the sky, it destroyed one of Kray's natural satellites. Not a lot to go on. Um, Again, I guess I'm just so underwhelmed by this card. I'm not as pumped for it, but again, let me know what you guys think down below. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.